the History Channel has made its reputation with a wide range of shows delving into the past. This season, when we commemorate the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, the channel retells the story with a four-part series. What can we expect from Jesus, his life? Stay tuned, and I'll give you my take. Welcome to Wait Till You Hear This. I'm Steve Eastman. First of all, mark your calendar for Monday, March 25th. That's when the first of four episodes begins at 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central. Jesus, His Life is somewhere between a documentary and a reality show. How about we call it a docudrama? Unlike a dramatic movie, it's difficult to get immersed in the unfolding story because the reenacted scenes are short, interspersed with quick comments by theological experts speaking to an off-camera producer. But the actors playing Joseph and Mary, Ramin Karimlu, and Madison Clare do a great job in bringing their scenes to life. For example, when Mary tells Joseph she's pregnant. Do you expect me to believe this? It's the truth. Do you take me for some idiot apprentice boy? It is God's will. The producers throw in nice little touches. When Joseph, Mary, and Jesus flee to Egypt to escape Herod, in all the rush, the child's toy falls to the floor. But sometimes, probably a little too much dramatic license is taken. When the Magi meet the couple, their spokesman says, We brought gifts. Joseph rudely replies, We don't want your gifts. Which brings us back to the experts. I don't know if any of them has evangelical credentials, with the exception of the controversial Joel Osteen, and maybe a professor from Asbury Theological Seminary. One expert, Dr. Robert Cargill of the University of Iowa, seems to go out of his way to challenge traditional views. The so-called massacre of the innocent doesn't appear to be historical. So why do we have this story? Well, Matthew is obsessed with making Jesus look like Moses. So in the same way that Pharaoh kills all the children, but Moses escapes in a basket, Herod the Great is now coming to kill all the children in Bethlehem. Other experts counterbalance Cargill, and their views would be welcome in most churches. As for special effects, nothing really groundbreaking but the producers do place a cool, rotating crown of thorns above a burst of light to signal a commercial break. All in all, Jesus' his life has my vote. I hope the 21st century dramatization of first century scenes helps many consider important eternal truths this time of year. The four-part series is broadcast every Monday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central on the History Channel starting March 25th. This is Steve Eastman for Wait Till You Hear This. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com.